Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata. On this MetPy Monday, we're going to talk about package installation with Conda. We're going to learn how to search for packages, install them, and we're going to add the Conda Forge channel to get packages from a different repository than the default. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our terminal. And remember, if we type conda list, we can see everything that's installed in the current conda environment, which this is just the root Python environment. You see we have a few packages installed. Let's say that we want to install a package like numpy. We can type conda install and then the package name. So here it's going to say that we're going to install mkl and numpy and update conda. That's fine. Yes is the default. So we'll press enter. And these packages are downloaded and installed. OK, so after a couple minutes, those are installed and we're returned to our prompt. If we run conda list again, you can now see that mkl and numpy are both in there. But let's say that we had some software that required an older version of NumPy, say 1.11 instead of 1.12. There were obviously some changes in there. We can specify a version by saying NumPy equals 1.11. Here it says we're just going to downgrade that package. Nothing else is going to be affected. And again, we can press enter for yes. So it downloads and the package is linked. Now, if we run conda list again, you can see that NumPy is at version 1.11.3. Let's say that you had NumPy installed already and just wanted to check for any updates that were out there. We're well, not going to install again because it's already installed. You'll do conda update NumPy. And it says that there's an update available. Yes, we want to do it. And since it's already downloaded, it just links that version in. There is a way to update everything in your distribution. You can say conda update dash dash all. This will look through all installed packages. And in this case, I have five updates that can be installed. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes to install those. So we've got OpenSSL, PySN, PyCasat, Python and requests that are going to be updated. Now that those are downloaded, those will be linked in and we're ready to go. Okay, well, let's say that you want to search and see if a package is available in the default conda channel. We can use the command conda search and let's go ahead and search for MetPy. You'll see that there are no results. MetPy is not distributed through the default conda channel, as many packages are not. The way to get the most up-to-date version of many packages and to just get access to many of them is to use a channel called Conda Forge. Conda Forge is a community-driven repository of packages that are built automatically and are available just by adding the Conda Forge channel to your Conda distribution. You can find more information about them at conda-forge.github.io, which will be linked in the video description. Back at our terminal, all we have to do to add the Conda Forge channel is issue the command conda config dash dash add channels conda dash forge. Now what that did is conda stores its settings, its channels and other defaults in a conda rc file that's going to be in your home directory. So if I look at my conda rc file, you can see that conda forge and defaults are now in channels and conda forge is above defaults, so it's going to be the one that we look in first to install packages. Now if we repeat our search, conda search metpy, you see that we get a lot of results. So we have everything from MetPy 0.3 down to MetPy 0.5.1, which is the current version. And we have packages available for Python 2.7, 3.5, and 3.6 here. So now we want to install MetPy. It's as simple 
as Conda install MetPy. Goes and fetches the package. It says that it's going to install a few of the dependencies. For example, we depend on Pint for units, Matplotlib for some of our graphics, PyProj, SciPy, and so on. And it says that we're going to supersede some packages by a higher priority channel, which is the CondaForge channel that we just added. We'll go ahead and agree and let all of these packages download and install. Okay, now that that's done, let's check and verify that we can import MetPy. So at the command line, I'm just going to type Python to open a Python interpreter in the shell. And I'm just going to type import metpy.calc as mpcalc. So this is one of our calculation modules. And you can see that it imported with no errors. So I know that MetPy was installed successfully and I was able to import some of our modules. We'll go ahead and quit out of the Python interpreter. We're back at the command prompt and you now have MetPy installed. Thank you for watching.